welcome or welcome back to my book channel. My name is Lady Lauren Explorer and today I'm doing part one of a book haul for the month of May. I think I'm going to do three parts because I have so many books coming in for the month of May and these are all of the books that are left over from the month of April. So <laughs> I wanted to get these out the way. So let me just like get into this. But before we get into that, hi guys, how are you guys doing? I just want to iterate. I'm about to graduate in less than two weeks. Woo woo. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for like being with me for this. I know this is not my usual days of posting because I usually post every single day but because this is like the week before my finals and then I'm gonna be it's gonna be the week of finals I'm not gonna be posting a lot because of that <laughs> I just want to so like just bear with me for these like these two weeks and then I'll be pushing out videos because I will be free to do that <laughs> So thank you for just being with me and all that. So let's just get into this. I want to first get into it because I'm looking down because I have a lot, but okay. First, let's get into my T-Gine. I hope I'm saying this right. T-Gine, that's a huge one. And it's the Fallen Crust series i have the complete one i this is the omnibus i think that's how it's pronounced the omnibus but basically omnibus is the having the complete series or having one through like three or four books in a series in one book and so for this one i have four books which having the complete series and you see how big this is i think this book is no a thousand and eighty seven pages i actually have no idea what this whole series is about besides it being maybe a high school romance or something oh sports romance i'm guessing from what i got from here it says following crest series is a drama filled with some steamy parts and <laughs> you'll be sucked right into the storyline it's a definite must read and it's a sports romance obviously <laughs> This next one is another Tijon. I don't know if I'm saying this name right. Tijon. I'm just going to say it's Hijin. It's Enemies, another sports romance. And this one is, says, Stone Rivers was my neighbor. And I hated him since sixth grade. Gorgeous, charismatic, and he became the town's football god. While I became the town's invisible girl. He went to a Division I school for football, while my father was fired by his father. His team won the national championship, while my mother died the same day. He was a first-round draft pick for the NFL, while I made the worst decision in my life. Now, I'm in Texas trying to pick up the pieces of my life, but Stone is here. Stone is everywhere. It doesn't matter that... Disaster has struck my life again. It doesn't matter that he's the one trying to console me. It doesn't matter that he's the nation's newest football obsession. Because for me, he's always been and always will be my enemy. Okay, enemies to lovers, for her at least. And then I have a another one from Taijin. Tai Tai Jan Tai Jan Tai Jan Tai Jan 
and it's the boy I grew up with. And this one says, here's a secret. I know the root of our problems, but Heather doesn't. She just loves me. And that's her curse because she should. I'm the worst goddamn asshole for her. Oh, ooh. I think I like this cover better. I love a good mail cover. Especially a good one. Oh, the back of it, it says, I have loved chaining Monroe all my life. In the first grade, he asked me for my trapper keeper. I hit him in the head with it. Third grade, we were best friends. We kissed in seventh grade. Eighth grade, he turned into a bad boy and the rest was a tumultuous storm. Growing up was the problem. Growing up, the problem was never love for us. Bad times, good times. There was always, there were times when I felt our love in every inch of my body vibrating, making me feel like it could bring me back to life. The problem was us. The problem is that we were living in two different worlds now. Following Crest and its millionaires for me, Will Samore and the criminals for him. I was thriving in mine and he was running his. But there were nights I felt we couldn't be further apart than we were. And there were nights I felt we shared the same heartbeat. When was it time to either sacrifice make a change or walk away from the boy I grew up with. Okay, all right. Plus I love a good milk cover. So I'm thinking all of these are in like the Fallen Crest realm and I can't wait to read these actually. Next is the second book in the duology by Emery Avant and that's Fear Me. Um, I think Regret Me was the first one, and I just wanted to go ahead and get the second one, so here it is. And this is, the, the duology is Forbidden or Taboo? No, I think it's Forbidden because, no, Taboo, because it's a cop and a criminal, and it's also interracial, because I think the character is, the hero is Asian and our heroine is Black. And they're also childhood friends. Yeah, childhood friends. Okay, so this book was given to me by Kami. And Kami, I ask people for recommendations for reverse harems and dark Hairs as well. And Kami gave this to me in a nice little bookmark. But she says that she hope I enjoys the story. And I've never actually like heard of this story before. But this is called The Never King. And this is by Nikki St. Croy. And it says the stories were all wrong. Oh, this is a retelling. I remember she told me this. This is a retelling of Peter Pan, a dark reverse harem of Peter Pan. So I was just like, what? Okay, sure, I'll take this. And so it goes, the stories were never wrong. Hook was never the villain. For two centuries, all of the darling women have disappeared on their 18th birthdays. Sometimes they're gone for only a day, some a week or a month, but they always return broken. Now, on the afternoon of my 18th birthday, my mother is running around the house making sure all of the windows are boarded, barred and the doors are locked. But it's pointless because when night falls, he comes for me. And this time, the Never King and the Lost Boys aren't willing to let me go. So, I can't wait to read this. I know that there's like other retellings, like, uh, Peter Darling and um, Hooked, obviously, but those didn't like really appeal to me. Well, Peter Darling, I do want to read, but um, Hooked didn't really appeal to me. 
So when Kami was like, this one, I have an extra one. Do you want to read it? And I was like, sure. Sounds appealing. It is a reverse harem. I'm here for it. <laughs> so thank you, Kami. The next one is not a romance at all. And I got my hands on it. And it's The Appeal by Janice Hallett. And this one is a murder mystery. <laughs> so basically it says one murder, 15 suspects. Can you uncover the truth? Um, so it goes, there is a mystery to solve in the sleepy town of Lockwood. It starts with the arrival of two secretive newcomers and it ends with a tragic death. Roderick Tanner QC has assigned law students Charlotte and FEMA to the case. Someone has already sent someone has already been sent to prison for the murder, but he suspects that they're innocent and that far deeper secrets have yet to been revealed. Throughout amateur dynamic society's disastrous staging of All My Sons, the shady charity appeal for a, gr a little girl's medical treatment, the murderer hides in plain sight. The evidence is all there, waiting to be found, but will Charlotte and FEMA solve the case? Will you? So this is the special edition copy then. Love it. And I like how like everything is like this. So I in my last book haul, I did I did a book haul with Jamil and Jasper's um Unlovable series, and I said that this is the first one, and the other two were coming. So this is the other two. So here's book two, which is Untainable, and book three, which is Undesirable. Again, I think there are six or seven in the book, the series, so I will be getting all six as soon as I can, but I'll be reading these first three. Oh, and if you didn't know, this is a like I said, this is a British bully series and a interracial bully series as well, following the same couple throughout the whole entire six to seven books. So, I think I I told you guys that I'm doing my adult boxes for all of my fairy loots from now on for the month of April is The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. And it says for each realm, there is a God. And for each God, there is an heir. And it just has a bookmark. In pages, this is how it looks naked. Four realms, life, death, light, and darkness, all converge on the city of Dusk, ruled by four noble houses of Nux. But the gods have withdrawn their favor from the once vibrant and thriving city, and without it, all of the realms are dying. Unwilling to stand by and watch the destruction, the four heirs, Risha, a necromancer struggling to keep the peace, Angelica, a, a, lamentimist, a lamentimist with her eyes set on the throne, Taisha, hope the right, a shadow wielding rogue with rebellion in her heart, and Nick, a soldier struggle who struggles to see the light, will sacrifice everything to save the city. But their defiance will cost them dearly. Oh, it comes with maps. I love books that comes with maps. Love that. Oh, and I already got my book of um, the Holly Black one, the Holy Book of Night. It's in my closet, so I'll call that one. Then I finally decided to just go ahead and get Penelope Douglas's book thrice six venom this is her first ever queer character book 
and it's female female and this is a dark romance because you know Penelope Douglas does all dark romance and this is very dark dark bully bully to the sixth power so can't wait to read this I've heard so many good things about this love it so I decided to support Jamila Jasper again and buy some more of her series and I bought three more and this one is from her, these two are from her college hockey romance series I think she has like four or five in this series and this one is Varsity House Pets and Varsity Servant then I bought Teasing the Tyrant. So, yes. And that is it for my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed part one. So, again, these are just the books that I left over from the month of April. And so, this is not my month of May. <laughs> I'm only just using this to start off my month of May. And I just bought some books today so they're they should be coming in in the next next week so i know i have a book buying problem but you love me <laughs> anyways i hope you guys i hope to see you guys wow i can't talk i hope to see you guys in my next video uh, my name is Lady Lauren Explorer. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>